strawberries, and lemons offer a sweet kick to most any dish or drink. In fact, adding both together can be downright delicious. But usually, the sweetest things aren't recommended for diabetics. So what's the deal with strawberries and lemons? Will they wreck your blood sugar, add inches to your waistline, or even perhaps increase the risk of developing diabetes? What surprising health benefits may be hidden underneath their colorful skins? And in the end, which one is a better choice if you're already managing diabetes? Well, we're about to pull back the curtain for these two fruit classics. You won't believe the crazy history of strawberries. And you'll be shocked to discover a unique benefit of lemons that may help you avoid a type of pain some claim is worse than childbirth. Before we get started, do us a favor and hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and ring that bell for future notifications. Plus, make sure you stick around to learn how you can get two free gifts on us. Welcome to Diabetes Smarts, your home for all the latest tips and tricks on how to fight back against diabetes. Now, let's get to the showdown. It's strawberries versus lemons. Which is best for diabetics? Do you love strawberries and cream? How about lemonade? Both of these summertime treats are beloved all across the world. But won't they create gigantic sugar spikes? We'll let you in on the truth about the real sugar contents found within these two fruits. There's more than meets the eye when it comes to the nutrition of strawberries and lemons. First up, let's examine Strawberries. These classic red wonders weren't actually grown in a set garden until the 18th century. Europeans were the first humans to begin intentionally growing this now ubiquitous fruit. In reality, modern strawberries are actually a hybrid cross between two different wild strawberries found in Chile and North America. But beyond its unique history, you're probably just curious to know, what's inside a strawberry? Well, a 100 gram serving of raw strawberries includes 32 calories, 0.7 grams of protein, 0.3 grams of fat, 7.7 grams of carbs, and 2 grams of fiber. That means strawberries are, in fact, fairly low calorie. And while they contain a significant amount of carbohydrates, their modest protein content coupled with their good fiber amount, allows the human body to slowly digest these sweet treats, which, in effect, slows the release of glucose into the bloodstream. Straws are also jam-packed with vitamin C, manganese, folate, also known as vitamin B9, copper, and potassium. Strawberries also contain small quantities of other beneficial nutrients, including iron, magnesium, phosphorus, zinc, vitamin B6, vitamin K, and vitamin E. Another fun fact about strawberries, they're about 91% water. But what does this all mean? Well, let's break down the health benefits of strawberries. Number one, strawberries improve heart health. Various research shows a clear link between regular berry consumption and enhanced heart health. And a recent study found that including strawberries in your daily diet can improve blood vessel function and systolic blood pressure. In fact, separate research showed that consuming a cup and a half of strawberries per week can reduce the risk of a heart attack by 34%. Plus, multiple studies show that regular strawberry consumption can lower LDL cholesterol and reduce inflammation. And research also shows that increased strawberry intake can contribute to a decreased mortality risk, along with a decreased risk of cardiovascular disease. Experts believe this is the case thanks to their polyphenolic compounds, specifically anthocyanins. Anthocyanins are water-soluble pigments which give berries their bright color, but their true value lies in their antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, anti-diabetic, and antimicrobial benefits. As a member of the flavonoid family, these compounds have been shown to create positive health effects for blood vessels, blood platelets, and lipoproteins. Strawberries possess other powerful antioxidants. 
including ellagic acid, quercetin, and camphorol, which have been shown to decrease the risk of heart disease by reducing the formation of LDL cholesterol. Plus, the potassium and vitamin C supplied by straws also improves blood pressure. Strawberries are starting to sound pretty great, aren't they? But will lemons actually do more good for your heart? We'll find out shortly. But what other hidden powers are contained within strawberries? Strawberries aid immunity. Just one cup of strawberries supplies 140% of your daily vitamin C requirement. And studies show that the antioxidant activity of vitamin C can provide powerful benefits to your immune system. Vitamin C does this by supporting various cellular functions associated with innate and adaptive immunity. Plus, it helps prevent free radicals from causing damage to your body and its cells. Did you know that low iron levels can damage your immune system? On the flip side, proper iron intake has been shown to strengthen the immune system by boosting hemoglobin which supplies oxygen to damaged cells and internal tissues. Therefore, thanks to the expansive list of beneficial minerals inside strawberries, just a few of these red wonders can go a long way towards boosting your immunity. Number three, strawberries optimize eye health. Around one in every three elderly adults has some level of vision loss. And it's been reported that about 45% of American diabetics currently suffer from diabetic retinopathy. While some types of vision impairment are unavoidable, what you eat can still dramatically impact your eye health. In fact, experts believe that the antioxidant effects of vitamin C can help prevent cataracts. Plus, research shows that vitamin C helps protect your eyes from the sun's harmful UV rays. There's also evidence to suggest that vitamin C aids the health of the retina and cornea of the eye. Plus, other antioxidants and phytochemicals within strawberries have been shown to improve vision by decreasing pressure in the eyes. Number four, strawberries aid weight loss. At about 32 calories per 100 gram serving, strawberries are low calorie, but a main weight loss benefit of the sultry strawberry is its dietary fiber content. Fiber slows digestion, which can cause you to feel fuller longer. When you feel full, you're less likely to reach for an in-between meal snack. So eating a few strawberries, especially before a meal or as a light dessert, can help you maintain a healthy weight and may contribute to healthy weight loss. Plus, studies show that consuming strawberries can increase the body's production of adiponectin and leptin, hormones associated with fat burning. All in all, strawberries are looking like quite the healthful snacking option. But at this point, you're probably wondering, are there any specific anti-diabetes benefits lurking within strawberries? Well, naturally, yes. Number five, strawberries fight diabetes. With two grams of fiber per serving, strawberries clock in at 41 on the glycemic index making them a low GI food source. So their dietary fiber can slow your digestion and the introduction of sugar into your bloodstream, thus helping you avoid a dramatic rise in your glucose levels. Meanwhile, as studies show that chronic low potassium levels can lead to a decrease in insulin production and an increase in blood sugar levels, the potassium within strawberries can provide extra diabetes fighting benefits. Plus, strawberries are a great source of both vitamin C and magnesium. Research shows that vitamin C can reduce post-meal blood sugar spikes. Regular magnesium consumption can help lessen insulin resistance. And of course, as heart disease is on a continuum with diabetes, the antioxidant properties and vitamin contents of strawberries can work to improve cardiovascular health, which in turn can lessen the effects of diabetes and may even help prevent the onset of type 2 diabetes. But beyond their potent anti-diabetes powers, when it comes to good old strawberries and their amazing nutritional profile, they'll provide a range of other health benefits, including anti-aging properties and improved skin health, anti-cancer effects, allergy prevention, and even improved cognitive function. So yes indeed, 
strawberries can supply an impressive range of health benefits. And they can make a great addition to your anti-diabetes diet. It's just about time to dive into the sour zest of lemons. But first, let's get you your two free gifts. Check out Superfoods for Diabetics, our amazing new book, where you'll discover which foods can help you fight diabetes. And watch episode one of that diabetes documentary, our groundbreaking look at the true causes of and best solutions to the diabetes epidemic. You can grab both gifts right now simply by clicking the link in the description below. Okay, pucker up. It's time to slice into lemons. What can we say about one of the world's most popular fruits that you don't already know? Well, let's start with the cold hard facts. One average sized lemon contains 17 calories, 0.6 grams of protein, 0.17 grams of fat, 5.4 grams of carbs, and 1.6 grams of dietary fiber. Similar to strawberries, lemons also contain a ton of water. In fact, a lemon is about 89% water. On top of this, lemons are also high in vitamin C, vitamin B1, vitamin B5, vitamin B6, and potassium. Lemons are also an excellent source of iron, calcium, and copper. And they also contain trace amounts of other beneficial nutrients, including folate, magnesium, phosphorus, and zinc. However, while lemons have an excellent carb to fiber ratio, which can help your body minimize the risk of a blood sugar spike, the typical way we consume lemons may prohibit us from that full fiber benefit. After all, you probably don't make a habit of eating a whole lemon. Chances are, like most people, when you grab a lemon, you're really just utilizing the juice within. Lemon juice, on its own, supplies just 0.4 grams of dietary fiber per 100 gram serving, which is a significantly smaller dose of fiber than you'd get if you ate 100 grams of lemon. So does that mean that the high carbohydrate content of lemons and lemon juice may end up spiking your blood sugar? Well, let's find out. The health benefits of lemons. Number one, lemons aid heart health. Just like strawberries, lemons are an excellent source of vitamin C. In fact, a single lemon can contain about 50% of your recommended daily intake for vitamin C. As previously mentioned, multiple studies associate vitamin C intake with a reduced risk of heart disease. Vitamin C contains antioxidant properties and can cleanse blood by neutralizing dangerous free radicals while removing toxins. Vitamin C has also been shown to help the body maintain healthy cholesterol levels. Additionally, other research shows that low levels of vitamin C are linked to an increased stroke risk. Other studies show that the antioxidants hesperidin and diosmin found within lemons can also help lower cholesterol and improve endothelial function. Lemons and lemon juice are also rich in potassium and magnesium. Both minerals can aid blood pressure and heart regulation. Plus, the fiber content of citrus fruits have been shown to decrease that bad LDL cholesterol. However, as you probably don't make a habit of eating lemons whole, it can be difficult to acquire the fiber content within. How can you utilize the beneficial fiber of lemons? We'll get to that in just a sec. What other nutritional powers might be hidden within lemons? Number two, lemons prevent kidney stones. Kidney stones are small but hard objects which form from the crystallizing of minerals, especially calcium, in the kidneys. These tiny stones can be extremely painful. Some people even claim that the pain of passing a kidney stone is worse than the pain of childbirth. But citric acid may help prevent kidney stones by increasing urine pH and urine output. Studies also show that the citrate of lemon juice can bind to calcium in urine, which also helps lemon juice prevent the formation of kidney stones. Kidney stones can often form due to a high sodium diet and chronic dehydration. As caffeine drinks can actually push your body towards dehydration, some doctors attribute the buildup of kidney stones to an overconsumption of coffee 
So instead of that extra cup of coffee, you may want to consider a cup of caffeine-free chamomile or ginger tea with a slice of lemon. Number three, lemons aid weight management. You may have heard about lemons or lemon juice being closely linked to weight loss. Experts theorize that this is due to the soluble fiber and specifically pectin found within lemons, which can make you feel more full for longer. But of course, how can you take advantage of the fiber within lemons if you're not actually eating lemons? Why not try lemon extract? This concentrated oil is made from the peels of lemons. And studies have found that lemon peels are actually more rich in nutrients than the fruit and the juice within lemons. Lemon peels also contain that valuable pectin fiber. Recent animal studies have found that including lemon extract in your diet may help reduce or even prevent weight gain. You can also utilize the power of the peel by zesting your lemon. Use a grater to remove the zest from lemon peels for extra nutritional and flavor benefits. Lemon zest can be a perfect addition to salad dressings and meat marinades. Plus, a 2013 study found that the bioactive components of citrus fruits, like lemons, can contribute to the prevention and lessening of obesity. Number four, lemons improve digestive health. Multiple studies now show that lemons and lemon juice not only help you to better absorb certain nutrients, but also might contribute to overall better digestive health. This is thanks, once again, to their pectin fiber. Pectin slows the digestion of sugars and starches, which in turn can improve gut health. Pectin has also been shown to increase digestive enzymes in the liver, which aids your body in eliminating waste and toxins from the digestive tract. And the fiber within lemons can also reduce the risk of constipation, ulcers, and acid reflux. Plus, drinking lemon water can promote the body's production of hydrochloric acid, which contributes to protein digestion in the gut. But you're still probably wondering, are lemons good for diabetics? Number five, yes, lemons fight diabetes. While lemons do carry the same amount of carbs as oranges, they actually contain less sugar. And thanks largely to their dietary fiber content, their glycemic index sits at just 20. The soluble fiber of lemons helps slow digestion, which also slows the release of sugar into the bloodstream. That may be the main reason why the American Diabetes Association lists lemons as a superfood. But lemons also supply other diabetes-fighting nutrients, including vitamin C. Studies show that regular vitamin C consumption can decrease fasting blood sugar and blood lipids, thus reducing the risk of type 2 diabetes complications. Lemons and lemon juice also supply potassium, a powerful nutrient which can lower blood pressure and the risk of heart disease. Meanwhile, lemon peels are a rich source of beneficial carotenoids, which have been shown to improve eye health. As both heart disease and macular degeneration are linked with diabetes, the dense nutritional profile of lemons, lemon juice, and lemon peels can work in a variety of ways to aid the health of type 1, type 2, and pre-diabetics. But beyond their diabetic-friendly properties, lemons can provide a wide range of other health benefits, including anemia prevention, cancer prevention, improved immune response, and increased bone and teeth strength. Plus, lemons, their juice, and their peels contain antibiotic and antimicrobial properties. But hold on. When you think of lemons, your mind might go straight to the image of a cool, refreshing glass of lemonade. But one serving of a typical packaged lemonade can contain a whopping 375 calories with nearly 100 grams of carbohydrates. At the same time, lemonade will be practically free of any fiber content. Thus, lemonade will most likely skyrocket your blood sugar levels. So be very aware that drinking a glass of lemonade will not supply the same health benefits as a whole lemon or lemon juice. And in fact, regularly drinking lemonade can increase your risk of obesity and diabetes. And now, are strawberries or lemons better for diabetics? Let's take a closer look at their differences and similarities. Strawberries can contain more pure sugar content than lemons, 
but while strawberries contain slightly more calories per serving, they also supply less carb content than lemons. On the flip side, lemons will give you a slightly larger fiber amount. However, don't forget that it's more difficult to acquire the beneficial fiber from lemons than it is to gain the fiber within strawberries. Both straws and lemons contain many of the same diabetes-fighting micronutrients, including vitamin C, vitamin B6, calcium, folate, iron, potassium, phosphorus, and zinc. But those red delicious strawberries are actually more nutrient-rich than lemons. While lemons include a slightly higher amount of iron, calcium, and vitamin B6, strawberries supply higher quantities of vitamin C, vitamin E, folate, copper, magnesium, potassium, phosphorus, and zinc. So, both can be great choices if eaten in moderation. But pound for pound, or gram for gram, today's winner is strawberries. Strawberries are more nutrient-dense than lemons, and while it's easy to consume the beneficial fiber of strawberries, you may struggle to find ways to include whole lemons, with their full fiber content, into your diet. But both are relatively low in sugar, and they're each loaded with diabetes-fighting nutrients, so don't be afraid to make both strawberries and lemons a regular at your dinner table. Now, we want to know. Do you prefer strawberries or lemons, and why? Let us know in the comment section below. Don't forget about your two free gifts. Just click the link below to grab both. Also, we'd love if you hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. We wish you a happy and healthy day.